hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we are going to create a card. We're using some new items over at Simon Says Stamp. This, they sent them to me and they're part of their smitten release. Uh, we're using the fancy Love You. I love this. I love the font of this and I love the size of it too. Look, you have the shadow and then you have the greeting. So we'll be using that on our card today. We're going to be using the Grand Corner. I have to tell you, I fell in love with this. I was playing around with it. And this is such a pretty corner. It's called Grand Corner Leaves. It's one die. But this one die creates a left corner, a right corner, a left and a righty. <laughs> but it also, these pieces here um, can layer on top of the detail leaves here. So you can use two tones or different colors. We're going to ink blend today, uh, creating different um, different shades. But this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I just love this. Okay, we're going to be using this on our card, the Grand Corner Leaves. And then we're going to be also using some Reverse All the Love Sentiment Strips. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is perfect for Valentine's Day or anniversaries. It's filled all with love, basically. <laughs> Let's open it up. Okay, so we have, oh, they're all the same. So what you see on the front is what you get. It's four of the same. And I love that there's some itty bitties in here too that will pair perfect with our greeting. We'll be using this. So for today's card, I mentioned we're going to do a little ink blending. So I'm going to take this die and some white cardstock. We're going to start by doing a little bit of die cutting. I hope that sun doesn't bother you. We don't get sun very often, <laughs> so I'm enjoying it really. But I'm going to die cut out my grand corner leaves. And then I'm going to use some gray cardstock and die cut out my love you. With the shadow, of, I'm going to use vellum. We're going to keep it soft today. And then I'm also going to bring in some glitter cardstock. This one is from Spellbinders. I'm going to die cut out this um, grand corner leaf. You can actually create a full background with this. How nice is that? Um, but I'm going to die cut this out with some glitter cardstock also. Okay, and then while we're die cutting, I'm going to create a background panel using the same gray cardstock. And I'm going to be using a stitched rectangle die for that. This one happens to be from Simon and it's from the bundle of st stitch shapes die set. It's a nice basic die set. So we'll die cut out background with stitched. This is going to leave me a little bit of a border on my card base because you know I love that. <laughs> and then I'm bringing in a couple more die sets too from Simon. These aren't part of the submit and release. Simon's had these in the shop for a while. I'm going to bring in the dotted heart. And I'm going to die cut out a heart with the white cardstock. And then this is the thin frames die set. I want to use the circle and create a thin circle frame with this. And I'll die cut that out. Actually, I could probably put that in the middle. And I'll die cut that out with white cardstock also. I have some die cutting to do. I'm going to run everything through my machine and I will be right back. Okay, I have everything die cut. I am going to trim down my greeting, but we'll do that in just a minute. But look at this. Isn't this so pretty? Great on its own too. But when you put them both together, nice thing is, is we're going to go at a diagonal with these because I think that looks pretty, but it will look pretty this way. It will look pretty filled in your background. I mean, I just think this is gorgeous. I mean, so many. I love flourishes. So, nice flourish for your for your stash. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to take my Love You, and we're going to adhere that to our vellum. I'm just going to use some glue for this. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of glue. Usually I would pop this up, but I kind of had a plan with this with that thin circle that we die cut out. And speaking of um, die cutting, when we cut, when I cut out my heart, I also created a background with the glitter that we could put behind the polka dots. But we're going to go ahead and adhere this down. And this is a two piece. 
This is a two-part greeting, but it's very easy to line together. Just follow along. The shadow makes it very easy. Isn't that so pretty? That's our love you. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that circle and I'm going to attach it right my greeting right in the middle. So I'm going to bring in my glue and I'm going to add a few dots here. Add some glue behind here and I'm going to tack this down to that circle. I just wanted something a little bit different and using circle dies, if you don't, um, you could actually use a nesting circle die and create the same thing. But this does create a real thin frame. I just kind of like the way that looks. And it's attached here on the back. Okay, eventually I'm going to put some thin foam strips behind here and, and we're going to pop this up. But before we do that, I do have my glitter. I'm going to go ahead and take out these glitter pieces. Look how pretty that is. All that sparkle. But technically, I'm only going to use not the leaf portion. Actually, I'm just going to use, I'm going to keep the leaves here and I'm going to put it back in the package because these are great for, for any occasion. But what I want is these, this little flourish here. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side here. Just punch those out. Now we're going to take our grand corner leaves and these are the pieces that line up to one side of these. Let me show you. You line up right here and then you can do two-tone if you want. Um, I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna bring in my grip mat. We're gonna do a little bit of ink blending. I'm gonna use my brushes here and then some Pink Fresh Studio inks. Any kind of teal or pale green ink that you have would work. I have Fresh Pear and I have Ocean Breeze. And for my background, we're gonna use, let's see, Fresh Pear. And we're just gonna add some color on the background. I do like a little bit of that white peeking out, but I'm just gonna add some color here. With these pieces that overlap on the leaves, I'm going to add some color with these also using the green ink. Okay, and then I'm going to intensify that with the blue ink. So let's go in with our ocean breeze and then add some darker blue. We're going to go ahead and put away our ink. And then we're going to do some gluing. I'm going to bring in my glue and there's a left side and a right side. So, and it's the thinner. So I'm just going to add some glue directly here. You just layer them together where they, where they go. I just think they are so pretty. I love that, and I love that you can layer them together. Okay, I have my card base. This is a standard A2 size card base, and then I have a background panel that we're going to layer it on our card base. I'm just going to use my tape runner for this. I'm going to go ahead and take my heart. I'm going to leave this white, and then I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And then we are going to add some glitter polka dots behind it. See if I can cover them all. <laughs> so we have a little bit of sparkle here. Now I'm going to take our flourishes. I'm going to flip over my grand corner leaves. I'm going to add some adhesive behind them. And then we're going to tack. Actually, let's see. Now just behind the leaf portion, I'm going to add some adhesive. And then I put adhesive behind the rest of it. I wanted a little dimension with these leaves. Let's go ahead and arrange these at a diagonal. And I'll do the same here, add some adhesive, and then we'll pop up the leaf portion. We're going to go ahead and add our heart. 
and then I'm going to add my greeting right over the center, kind of overlapping. Looks kind of light and airy, huh? I'm going to take my glitter leaves that we trimmed away, and then we're going to add, we're going to do a little tucking with these. Since we had the sparkle here, I want to balance it out on this side. We're going to go ahead and take our reverse all the love sentiment. We're going to go, go ahead and trim down an extra greeting for here. Okay, so we have You Are Adored. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put a thin foam strip behind it. Actually, before we do that, let's figure out where we want to put it. I think I want to put it right here. Okay, and then we need a little extra sparkle I'm going to bring in some Simon Says Stamp Assorted Moonshine sequins. Let's go ahead and add a few, little bit of sparkle here. I don't want, I don't need too much actually. Okay. We'll just pour these back in here. Okay, and you know what? I think I want to do a change up. I don't, um, sometimes when I add a black greeting to a real soft background, I need to spread out that black. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my heart here. And instead of putting the silver behind it, I'm going to go ahead and put some black behind it. I'm going to trim down some black. So we have black polka dots. I think that will kind of spread out the color a little bit. So let's take some black cardstock. Okay, so I have some black. We'll put that behind the hearts. Let's see what this does. Let's go ahead and put some black polka dots behind there. And I think that's going to work better with that sentiment strip. Let's go ahead and switch out that sparkle for some black. Let's, let's try the polka dots here. Let's kind of tuck that back in its home. And I'm thinking I like that black behind the heart better. Um, I think it kind of goes better with our black reading. I kind of, it's a little more balanced, at least to me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. <laughs> but that will finish off my card today using the Simon Says Stamp, using a few items from the Simon Says Stamp Smitten Release. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And I wish you a lovely day. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.